And over the past few months, we've done a number of stories about a proposed concrete plan in Dorchester. Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick spoke at a town hall meeting to hear local residents' concerns and support their opposition. Now News 12's Olivia Thompson shares the latest for us tonight. The whole entire application process now is starting over. They've resubmitted, so that means that all of our comments online to TCEQ are going to have to be resubmitted. The old ones aren't going to count towards the new hearing. Original resident concerns about the Black Mountain cement plant were about blasting, a method used to possibly extract the limestone that lies in a deposit that runs through a section of Grayson County. Pastor Zach Poling of First Baptist Church says this doesn't fix the issue. They're saying they're not going to blast now, but that doesn't fix the air quality. Uh, that may keep it from shaking like California. Uh, earthquakes, but at the same time, they're still spewing silica everywhere, and it's extremely windy here. The pollution from it is going to be blown all over the place. It's going to be blown into Collin County and into Oklahoma. Polling explains why he feels the plant will do more harm than good. Square mile plant quarry, they're going to be baking the silica, uh, the limestone right there on property to make the limestone, and uh, the dust that is in the air is also from the traffic of the trucks. It's, it's going to be horrible. Pastor Poling is not only worried about the future of Dorchester's only church, but the quality of living for all of those in Grayson County. He says that your public comment could make the difference between a field full of corn socks or a city that is later unrecognizable. We need to go back in, make new comments online, and then whenever the new hearing comes up, we're going to have to show up again. We're going to have to do it all over again and make sure that they see us and they hear from us uh, in the same way that we did before. In Dorchester, Olivia Thompson, News 12.